It is Friday, it's six o'clock and the video needs to be up in two hours, so I better crack on. But if you wanna know what our future plans are, stay till the end. What's up with your ears? <laughs> oh look! There's a seagull on our boat. <laughs> that green is about to go. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> There's a. <laughs> you look funny with your ears. Two boats either side of us have gone sailing, so we need to clean our boat because it looks pretty bad. <laughs> Not perfect, but way better. No green anymore. Now the top looks dirty again. <laughs> I've discovered something that I had never seen before. Stuart said he had seen it, but I hadn't. And it's this bit here. I don't know if this is meant to be like this. Because this is fiberglass, but then this white stuff I don't really understand if this is meant to be like this or not. Is this gel coat? What is it? We'll be dropping the radar and drilling a few holes, see what's the state of it, but probably it's not good. <laughs> and we'll have to rebuild it. Okay, so this white stuff is all along. It's like this framey thing. We'll see, we'll have to strip all the anti-fouling to see exactly what's going on. It's nice having so much space. No boat on the left, no boat on the right. I can't believe we made it to this point. Finally. <laughs> it's like the longest job ever. Yes. <laughs> this window's been our worst nightmare. But it's definitely well, pretty good, I would say. We'll see. The whole problem was that when we took the window off, it was um, sealed with something really strong. So when, well, when Stuart took it out, some of the fiberglass came off and we had to repair that. Initially it was repaired with just some resin, a filler, some, yeah. some yeah, filler, <laughs> but no fiberglass and... Someone gave us some stick <laughs> for that, they're like, yeah, probably remove that, and yeah. they were right. <laughs> Someone said it was the best way and it proved to be pretty bad, because when we took the, the wood out that Stuart put for, like just to cover it for the winter, it all came off, so we've now put it a lot of fiberglass in there, like little cutoffs that we had. 
made like a little patchwork and it does look like really strong now plus all these was um, there was a void in here it's just one layer air and another layer and now it's protected from water ingress because we put some filler in there hopefully with the round window we've I've stuffed a uh, papier mache kind of fiberglass all around the the two layers. Uh, so hopefully with that we've got something to fill onto. Um, yeah, this one it was just filler, but seems to be okay. Yeah, we'll see. You know, it's all it's all a learning curve. Pretty smooth, and it has come the time to put the primer yeah. on. Good times. Yeah, let's just get it on. I love the smell of paint. Feels like you've accomplished something. Yeah, it smells <laughs> of like accomplishment. The end of the job. <laughs> oh, nice. The reason we're painting is just so it's protected and because we're going to put the window back on so at least underneath it's already done. Marina's just finishing off with her eagle eye. I might give her a light rub down anyway, see yeah, what it's I like. I think it should be rubbed down a little bit. When yeah. it's finished I wouldn't touch anymore. Cool. Alright, perfect. Well, that's that. Now, while we wait, we hydrate. There is some progress on our little home. Stuart has created this beautiful, beautiful and very sharp <laughs> a sculptor. <laughs> it all started with sausages. Here, then it passed to little bowls of fiberglass, and then it would just all jab in there. Literally, you sweat a little bit of fiberglass and just jab it in there. But it's now thinner, so it should be okay for the window to sit on. So I'm about to tape it all, protect the inside because. Stu is going to sand it. It's going to sand all these needles. <laughs> and then we'll carry on with the next step. It's not finished yet. <laughs> the dust collector is on. <laughs> A little gap here, but once that's tightened up and with uh, some... Don't care. That's good. I want to step closer to have a little window there. <laughs> yeah, we just got to put some and filler in there. How does it look inside? Let me have a look. Mm, yeah. I've just got to do some, I just fill it a bit. Okay. So it's not a huge amount, the bottom is good. And then sand it again. Sand the front. Uh, hopefully this is uh, thick enough. Oh, I'm surprised how much filler you get from 
such a small amount of resin. Okay. Next step, sand again. <laughs> yeah, a little rub down, then just put it in. Hopefully, yeah. As I say, rub it down, put it in. Rub it down, put it in. <laughs> Where does that come from? <laughs> Sounds rude, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's Sunday, so we try not to do too much on a Sunday. Um, but I just want to get the windows painted. Um, just do a tiny bit around each window and uh, the inside. Literally a five minute job, but we got the weather for it. Uh, making hay whilst the sun shines. So let's give it a go. Still using the paint that I found in the bin. Yeah. Seems alright. Paint. found quite a few of these uh, these tins a big tin I think we found about four liters with the uh, the two pack part uh, still looks white nice it seems all right couple of vent patches at the back. <laughs> Mainly doing this to cover the primer and to try and protect the epoxy. Damn cars. And that's it done. We'll see. Could be a bag of spanners or not. The glue finally turned up for the rubber. Here's the rubber for the windows. Uh -huh. Here is the glue. We haven't even opened the parcel yet, so let's have a look. We bought some when we bought the rubber, but whilst away, it's sort of exploded. Sort of, no, it did too. And we've been waiting very patiently for a few weeks. Well, two weeks. <laughs> two weeks. Ooh, five pound voucher. So here's the glue. Is it the right one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This little bottle of 20 grams was 30 euros. Managed to find it somewhere else because if you buy it on the Vitus website, it's 50 euros. So, as you know, when we uh, took the hatch out, the little hinges broke. So, we had to get new hinges, but these hinges didn't work for these windows. They've been, the windows have since been updated. So, as with uh, every semi bodge job, it just needs a slight tweaking. And I can't seem to get this hinge all the way to the right hole, so trying very gently to just uh, wiggle it into place and keep sanding down until it's all good. So yeah, like everything old that doesn't have spare parts, you have to uh, make do and mend, as it were. I'm not going to do anything. Okay. I'm holding the camera. We're ready to put the rubber on our first window. Well, almost ready. Let me just come. Go. 
go back quickly. A short one. Okay. The long one in the inside. And it joins up here. Maybe we should put the glass because once we put the, the rubber, we tighten yeah. it up. All right. So we should put the glue on the trim? Yeah, yeah that's what I thought. And then... So we should uh, get this all in place first. To have a look. Dry fit, not here. We'll do it like this on the, all the windows. They join the, there. Yeah. So we'll cut just there maybe. Yeah. So. Do we need tape? Mm, I don't know, I don't think so. Do we? Yeah. Yeah, so let's, we can uh, put a lot. Yeah, just drop it as we go around. Quick, quick, quick. Okay, let's close it. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, the rubber is seen. <laughs> it's right, going to leak, isn't it? Well, yeah, that's what we don't want. We don't want it to leak. But just for reference, this is how the previous one looks compared to the new one. So you can see it's quite tight and squished. This one is new, so it's thicker. <laughs> that's pretty cool you can see how it looks you going for a minute? yeah I just want to give you some space Just changing the rubber seal is making the window look so much like newer. <laughs> yeah, it's good. This one as well. It looks good. So we're about to do this one. The first vertical. First vertical. We think the glue might drip because it's vertical, but we'll see. This one leaks at the moment and we think it's the rubber seal. So we're going to give it a go and see if it works. If not, we'll have to take the window out, but that's like the plan, plan C. <laughs> Just say one. Yeah, that's enough. Okay. Card got full halfway through the operation, but it's on. It was easier than I thought. So we're gonna close it to apply some pressure.
Uh, open it again. Yep. Hold on. Yep. Done. So hopefully next time it rains, this one doesn't leak anymore. We'll see. Nice view. Hello. We're on the tape, which is good news. This job is about to be finished. We just dry fitted them and we're just taping to put the silicone. But the little one, that is a bit of a shame. We had to use different size screws because it's not all the same thickness after a steward's job. <laughs> oh, this isn't all the same thickness. Uh, I will ah, see. It's looking good, it's looking good. It's looking beautiful. And here is the little round window. Not too bad. It's not perfect, but that'll be fine. Look at that beautiful taping job. Amazing. Right. Trying to concentrate here, woman. Ten o'clock. Ah, try that. Uh, you happy with all of it? Yeah. Yeah. We'll go inside. Uh, yeah, give us a couple of them. Just, uh, yep. Good luck. Are we in? Yeah, yeah, I know. It's all tight enough? Yeah, almost done. Just trying to do a clean job. Nice. We got rid of that little hole for whatever instrument was there and then we've got a beautiful round porthole. It's open now. Looks good, doesn't it? If you just look at this bit of the boat, it just looks like an amazing boat. 
painted, nice window, hopefully it doesn't leak. But if you come a bit farther, you can see the food is not that nice, yet. <laughs> and this is the other one finished as well. We've been for a, a long time with no window in the galley, which is not very good because handy to open it when you're cooking. All we could see all the time was just this, that plastic bag that was covering the hole. So it's nice having a window back. And again, if you just look at this part of the boat, it looks really good. But if you come farther, <laughs> you can see it's just that part. Hopefully, the whole boat will look like that soon. Everyone says that it's to work works, works really hard and I do nothing. Well, this is proof that that is not true. There he is, having a nap. It is pretty windy, so I apologize for the noise. Hopefully it's not too bad. Just wanted as always to say thank you to all these people who is uh, hopefully showing up on the screen now. All these people have been supporting us from the beginning up until now. And we cannot say it enough, we are super, super grateful. So I just wanted to let you know that our plans for the summer now are gonna be working on the hole. So we'll spend the next month or two working on the hole. As you know, there's many repairs to be done, so hopefully it doesn't take longer than that, but you never know with boats. And then we'll go up and work on the deck. Hopefully it'll be watertight by the winter, and then we don't know yet if we're going to be working this winter or not. It depends how our piggy bank is doing. We would like to stay on the boat and work, and if that's the case, we'll be working on the inside. So we'll need somewhere to live for the winter, which we don't know how it's gonna work out yet. So anyway, those are the plans. First, working on the hole, which we have already started, as you can see. But <laughs> You're covered in dust. A little sneak peek. <laughs> yes, yeah, so the hole, with the keel and the rudder and all that, then deck, and then hopefully we can jump in the inside, but we'll see. As I say, we don't know if we'll be working this winter or not. We'll see how our funds are going, <laughs> which reminds me, <laughs> we've just launched Patreon, so if you would like to help us out, just click on the link below. We've been sharing some real-time information with our patrons so far and we would like to just get to know you a little bit more and share more of what's in our minds and what our plans are so yeah hopefully we'll see you there we might be doing a live uh, next week in there i don't know how it works yet so let us figure that out and yeah that's all i have to say <laughs> thank you very much and see you next week bye wait do i want to say goodbye as well so what do you want huh how is it? Oh yeah, my face. Oh, my face. Goodbye. <laughs>